Gentlemen, those are the vibes of art and culture. Monday and our face is doing justice. Eh? 
the J in the studio today is for justice that our PC is doing to art and culture Monday and to you at home because I know you guys are watching. Tell me how was that experience? I feel nothing too at this point we just let you perform to Takujua next Monday. <laughs> and you are doing such an amazing job. Apesi, please say hi to guys at home. To Salimia, it's been a minute. Do jump right into what you're doing. Hi, my name is Apesi, aka M. Nyamamkali. Obunga to the world. I'm, I'm an artist. Yes. I do a genre called Afro Benga, the modern Benga. The yes. modern, the old Benga fused with the modern Benga. And good vibe, good vibe, good vibe. Exactly. And we are loving it. We are loving it right here on Art and Culture Monday. Now, for the purposes of the new guys, you know what we are doing? just bumped into Art and Culture Monday. I'm going to go YouTube, took a pop up, and they are watching. Um, I want to know, when did you start singing professionally? From there. Professionally, I started singing in 20, 2017 mm -hmm. because I started by doing covers at an event called Poetikawa in Kisumu. Yes. By the way, I'm from Kisumu. Yes. Yeah, Bunga to the world. So I started professionally in 2017. Yes. I was with a band called the CBK Music. Mm -hmm. We worked for a few years. Uh, we, were doing, uh, we, 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 we were the three guys, Alan, Alex, and I. Yes. So I decided it reached a point where I wanted to do something different because where we are coming from, if you're not doing Angla, then you, you're not considered as an artist. Yes. I wanted to change the game and tell them that even this, even this style that I'm coming up with is going to take us to the world. And yes. already it has already t uh, taken me to the world. So professionally, 20, 2017. 2017. Then started my solo career 2021. Yes. Uh, since 2021, what was your first debut song? I did Kublu's. Yes. Which really did great because people were like, is this Oangla? Is this Benga? What is this? This is something new. Yes. So it, it got uh, different reactions. Some people laughed. Some people were like, ah, what is this is this? not our thing. Yes. What is this? Then later, later on, they accepted it, and even the young artists started doing it, and yes. it has got a good reception. And I always say this is the only genre that is go gonna beat the Nigerian music. This yes. is it because we are young and we are embracing culture. We are yes. young and we are we are sharing our culture outside there. Mm -hmm. And and it's original and it's authentic. authentic. I think that yes, that is that is the label definitely. We have seen music tends to thrive when it is authentic, mm. different and original. So you're hitting all the boxes, you know? You're you're hitting all the boxes and you're doing the that. Mm. So, uh, Kublu's came out in 2021 mm. and in massive reception. Since then, how many songs have you had? I've done two albums. Yes. I'm working on the third album called The Black Jew It's Coming. I mm -hmm. did my first album, Kublu's, the album. Mm -hmm. The second album I did, Obunga to the World, which took me took me to Europe yes. twice. Took yes. me to Europe twice. Mm -hmm. I'm planning to do America tour. Mm -hmm. And uh, for uh, uh, for the first album I did 12 songs second album 12 songs this time I might do 16 songs I've already recorded over 50 songs so I'm just gonna look which is the best to give to out, because, out because yes because it's all about good vibe and giving these guys the taste of our culture yes. and it's so it's so universal that most of my followers are not even laws most yeah. of my followers are people from other tribes yes i mean we are vibing to the vibe i can't even hear what you're saying but i am i am having an, an amazing time you know i oh i can hear thank you i can hear but i cannot understand the the lure in there but i'm definitely having an amazing time so it shows you don't have to be to be listening to a person's music it's he's doing great either way okay um a couple of albums and one thing i love about your songs or rather your albums is that you do a massive huge album you could listen to it for a whole week you're used to six songs seven mm -hmm. songs but a person has them you know a lot of them so this uh you're preparing for a new album probably about 16 songs mm -hmm. when are you hoping for it to be out before the end of the year because Bef I'm, yes uh, I, I i might go to canada next 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 month yes just touring and knowing the world and sharing the love because yes. it's all about us packaging the culture and taking it out there so maybe after my tour mm -hmm. you my third europe europe tour because from canada i will go to europe yes i will go to europe so from europe i will do the launching before the end of the year the dates are coming yes 
Yeah. Ah, amazing. So then you have about 104 days. Yes, you Yay. have had about 104 days in the year to wrap up your album, utupatie kitu safi. You know, something mm. something clean, something amazing. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Apes is going to be bringing us good vibes all the way. So the year 2023, Acha because you've mm. been doing a lot of albums since 2023 began. What have you been working on? Uh, I had my second tour this 2023. Yes. Where sir. I... I, I performed at 20, 20 countries. Yes. Ooh, uh, those are many. 20 countries, and it, it, it was really massive because the first time I went, people demanded that I come back. And yes. I, will, I was also working with schools because I also train, I also teach music. So I, I was able to work with universities, yes. Netherlands, U Utrecht University in mm -hmm. Netherlands, and different schools in Netherlands, Germany, Spain, France, and... Uh, it has really been amazing, and mm -hmm. this year I fully dedicated to my album called The Black Jews because uh, for for the first for quite a long time people mm -hmm. don't have identity. Uh, you know, who are the Black Jews, and <laughs> we don't know that we are the Black Jews because you are from Egypt. You're just walking around yeah, like you have no you idea have know, that you are the Black Jews. You have to know yourself. If you can't know yourself, then there's no way you are going. Yes, and. Uh, I would really, I would really, I would really love Kenyan because we have sound, we have our sound, but we we are moving from that sound. That sound is called benga. Mm -hmm. The lawyers are doing benga, uh, the kooks are doing benga, yes. the kambas are doing benga. Benga is our style. Yeah. And the reason why people are saying that Kenya doesn't have sound mm -hmm. is because we tend to jump into a mapiano imekuja to meanguka. Gengeton imekuja every artist and atakufanya gengeton. Like we don't we don't have that our thing. We have it, but we don't want to. We don't want to embrace it. We have a sound called Benga. Yes, well, and you know, I am I am yet to hear Benga from Cumberland. Maybe we 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 eco. Okay, so we're going to Zico look for. Sana. Yeah. Okay, mm. all right. I'm going to do my homework. You know, and actually get to listen to that. Okay, so we have our sound called Benga, but we seem to keep. We are distracted every now and then. Yeah, yeah. And do you know, mostly from Kenya, we are the ones that in, uh, makes Nigeria big, uh, South Africa big. Yes. Yes. Tanzania big. If you if if you look at YouTube, yes, uh, the uh, the most viewers are from Kenya. You mm -hmm. see, so we have already we have the market now. True. It's upon us now to know, have identity, and know that this is what we are doing, and package it and exactly. sell it out because. We already we've got it. We Exa can do it. Exactly. Yes. Wow. I, I have never heard another artist put it in simpler words when you ask about the Kenyan sound. Mm. There's always these long stories about and about, but thank you for, you know, hitting the nail on the head. Um, You have done a few collabs in the recent past, mm. including your most recent banger. Mm. And I just want you to repeat when you were telling me about supporting young artists, talented artists, because that is another challenge, basically, in the music industry, for young, talented artists to actually get people who can hold their hand so mm. what has been the mission in your latest collab uh, one i want to i want to i want to i i, I know i'm at five percent of my career that's yes. it yes uh, some people feel that apc has reached no i'm at five percent of my career yeah. but as god is lifting me up i want to lift other young mm -hmm. artists and i'm coming up with i'm coming up with the lab it's a label i want to be signing i will be supporting yes. called uh, Wakali Entertainment. Yes, where I'll be uh, I'll be supporting uh, uh, individuals that are very talented and yes. they they don't have these opportunities that I have. Uh -huh. Like uh, I want by next year to, to take two or two or more artists to Europe yeah. just to see how world is different and mm -hmm. how art is appreciated out there because. Most of my fans are even uh, are even uh, uh, are, 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 are Europeans. Mm -hmm. They love my my kind of sound. But you find uh, when I come back home, it takes time for them to appreciate me. Unless ni metoka inje ni karudi ndo sa the love in ongezeka. Yeah. But I want <laughs> you have to leave a little. Yeah. Your tukumis kidogo. So I want I want to shikilia the few individuals that are talented. Yes. Najua sijafika, but I can. When I move, na move na watu. Any other apesi, when apesi stop singing, there's another apesi out yes. there anawakilisha vizuri. But most of our artists, our mm -hmm. big artists, artists wali anza kitambo, mm -hmm. you find them, they love themselves. Mbaki na fika point, you, you can ask, hey, nani, nani alienda wapi? Yes. But you see, ukishikilia watu mkono, you will still be living, yani. 
and it's, it means that the industry is still there and we really need to we, we really need to support young yes, artists. Exactly. Um, question, uh, because I know now there are many, many young artists that are going to be storming your inbox and a PESI collab or a PESI help here and there. What is your definition of talented or rather qualified to be picked by you? Because I feel there are a lot of people, but even the way someone will ask you also, mm. you know, determine whether so you're going to take them up or not. So what is the qualification for a young artist for them to qualify to actually work together with you? One, talent is not enough. Yes. Talent is 10%. Uh -huh. I always say uh, we need discipline, yeah. uh, time management. Discipline comes with time. And uh, just f f focusing and having a vision because you might be talented, but yes. but you're not disciplined. Yes. So I look at very small things that people tend to, to, uh, uh, tend to not to look at. Yes. But me, I look at things like discipline, mm -hmm. time management, and wherever talented you are. And uh, also, I train them before before we before we start working. I train them because I I work at uh, uh, One Vibe Africa mm -hmm. as a vocal coach, so I have the, got the space for the artist band rehearsals, vocal training in Kisumu. So. I'll be, I'll, I'll be, mostly I invite them at my space, uh, coach them. Mm -hmm. As I am coaching them, I'm learning about them and I see this one can work. Yes, so uh, they actually get some time. It's just not, it's not just come, we do this. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you watch them, watch their discipline because if you have rehearsal space, then you can be able to see a lot. Yeah, yeah. They, are, they, are, they are vocal ranges, they are disciplined to come to rehearsal. Um, so yeah, so if you need to work with a person, then you need to be, you know, you need to pick up your discipline, pick up your talent, you need to pick up the entire bug, you know, not just mm. you and your talent. Okay, so I, I like that, that there is a qualification for even where we could and I like that. There's a video that you shot abroad um, in Europe, and I, well, I'm just curious, how was the experience shooting there as uh, compared to shooting here? Like you, you, at least now in Nairobi on on a Sunday, it's 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 go it's allowed to someone to shoot a video. Yes. There they are like they they don't have problems. You can shoot anywhere you want, yeah. and the love from the love the love the, the love the, the, the love from the onlookers when you're shooting. Yes. Like they they see you. This, they're, they're just happy that some who have never even seen Africans and like, yes. hey, this dude is doing his thing. Yes. And the the guy that I work with is a student at Utrecht University. Mm -hmm. uh, he's called Willem. Mm -hmm. And he really, I introduced him to Africa, African music and is madly and crazily in love yes. with the music. It's, it was a great experience and... Uh, I, I love the fact I love the fact that I love the fact that when you are outside there you are appreciated more. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I definitely like that. Because uh, also another question, another follow-up maybe of that question is the reception of music abroad and here in comparison. Like do you feel that they, they miss you more when you are away or they appreciate your music generally as you are? They really appreciate my music. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I, I, it's because maybe they've seen everything, and they want now different culture. Yes. Because when I was performing at the university, mm -hmm. they were like, "You've <laughs> got a voice. Yes. An Africa authentic voice. Yes. No, uh, no studio, uh, studios effects. It's or because anything. they love they love live music, and mm -hmm. I always tell artists. I always tell artists, this is the reason why Nigerian artists are making it out there. Yeah. When you see Banner Boy is doing with the live music, but yeah. for us artists one more go power, live music. Because live makes you authentic, original. Yeah. I want to listen to that voice that a PC recorded. Yes. I don't want to listen to another thing. So they appreciate live music and if you're an artist, Rudy back to live yes. band. Rudy back to live band. Rudy, I try to squeeze some natural, God-given, you know, yeah. voices and talents. I, I like that. I want us to get into another performance before we get to the latest, uh, before we come and talk about the latest song. Uh, but even before that, you did a, a, a feature for Kublus and you featured a, a number of artists who called a remix of Kublus. Mm. How was that experience, uh, given Kublus is a song that is at your heart? 
Uh, actually, I, as I told you, I started mentoring art, uh, yes. young artists. Uh, uh, it uh, is called Breezy. Unchild did my Jaber with with at the band. Yes. And also Era Jalo Sandy, I was part of it. Yes. And uh, and I really I really needed to I really needed to bring him to my dear most song yes. which is Kublu's remix we did at Twitch. Yeah. Which really is really doing great on all platforms. He's making rounds on social media and doing amazing. Yeah. Yes, I want to say I think we have spoken a lot for for your performance. I want to give you another opportunity. What song do you want to perform? Your, your, your remix, Yaku Blues, okay? My director is asking for that remix because it's a, it's a really nice, beautiful song. So right about now, ladies and gentlemen, a Percy remix, Yaku Blues. having a fantastic fantastic time with a Pesi right here Asante thank you for making amazing music I think I don't know whether you hear those thank yous enough but thank you yes for making great music I want us to talk about your current manga because um, it's even an artist that umeshika umeona rehearsal umependa kazi yake and you're doing it together so tell me all about it it's called Mona Lisa yes. and I did it with Reno mm -hmm. Reno is one amazing artist that is gonna make headlines soon. Watch out for Reno. Reno is one of the artists na minium buyer sana. Mm -hmm. I did it with Reno and Matata. Yes. And Matata is also good, mm -hmm. great artist from Migori. And watch out for Migori. Migori kuna talent. And we did it with a producer called Ojina on the beat. Mm -hmm. This guy is a beast. And you know I work with the best. Yes. I work with the best. I don't just work with anybody. And it's called Mona Lisa. When I listen to that because we, we had a session in yes. Migori. When I listened to that, I said, Shh, this is the thing. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I this want. This is what, <laughs> like, this is what we we need to yes. take outside the outside Kenya. Yeah. And uh, the video is out. You mm -hmm. can watch it on YouTube. Make sure you watch it. Yes. Mona Lisa. Yes, please remind us, social um, uh, streaming platforms, before you get to social media handles, streaming platforms, where can we find your music, your collabs? Every platform, Spotify, YouTube, Boomplay, everywhere. Just type a Pessy. Just type a Pessy, you'll get you'll get my music on all platforms. Yes, Kill a man. And, and it is it is just one name, A P E S I. He to to a Pessy, just one one name, and you're going to find all of his music, everything that he is doing that is phenomenally put down together. At a in Kwambia, just one name, and you're going to find everything that he is doing. Are there any other artists that you are working on that you're cooking things with right now? Yeah, yeah. In my album, I've got like three artists mm -hmm. that are really great mm -hmm. and uh, and it will be massive the album will be massive the biggest album from Luanyanza. yes so we are definitely we are looking forward i know taki kuataja taja sana but we are looking forward definitely to all of those collabs we are looking forward to the things that you're about to do so we know there's an album in future plans what does the future look like for our base even going to ask far away next year october September rather, where are we hoping to see a pace? Like right now, I've started because I want to change the game, yes. and I said I want to I want to make sure that mm -hmm. we grow as artists from from Kenya, mm -hmm. and we've started. We've uh, I'm working with an, a company called East African Sound. Yes, we've started uh, taking Luo artists mostly. Luo, we've started with 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 Nyanza. Yes. Actu uh, Emma Jalamo uh, this week is going to Europe through mm -hmm. our partnership with East African Sound. And uh, last year we did it with we did it with uh, Freddy Jakadongo. I yes. went with him to Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, right uh, this week Emma Jalamo is going to Europe. If you are in Europe, you are watching, you are live streaming. Yes. Emma Jalamo is coming. And we'll be just sharing these platforms with artists, this opportunity with artists. Yes. Next year, I'll be doing America tour. Yes. Just wow. to watch out. Exactly. Amazing. Then great things. We are expecting great things. Give us social media handles so that we can be able to follow up on exactly where you are and what you're doing. 
on YouTube, one name Apesi. Yes. When you go on Instagram, at Apesi underscore Mnyamamkali. Yes. On Facebook page, Apesi Mnyamamkali. TikTok, Apesi Mnyamamkali. Everywhere, Apesi. If you write Apesi, it will definitely come. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you watch my video. Make sure you are, you are following Apesi because yes. a lot of things are coming up. Close and it. also, if you're an artist around Kisumu, uh, I always have my sessions at One Vibe Africa. One Vibe Africa is an organization. They did Madaraka Festival that brought Saudi Soul in America. Yes. And this opportunity, I want to tap this opportunity so that not only training, we train you and give you the platforms. Uh, we train you and give you the platform. So there's Madaraka Festival that is happening next mm -hmm. year in, in America. If you're an artist and you, are, you want to be mentored, you, you want vocal training, One Vibe is the best place to be. And every Friday, my band plays at Acacia Hotel, mm -hmm. Kisumu. Mm -hmm. If you're around Kisumu, make sure you come. Whether I'm there or not, the band is playing. Yes. We've already created the platform. Let's, let's, let's just support Apesi Mnyamamkali. Shukran. Yes. Amazing. So that is Apesi. That is where you can find his music. You can find his live band. Like he says, he prides in playing live. Okay? So join okay um, have him there if you're in kisumu if you you want a good time can be a pale acacia and get to watch his band him um and himself perform and just have an amazing amazing time right about now apesi i want us to listen to the latest banger in uh, collaboration with reno it is called mona lisa mona lisa thank you very much right about now apesi ladies and gentlemen <laughs> 